Hi, I know it's not easy to take that first step, so I've come up with a plan. Two questions, two actions, here is how to start any project. Cut now question one. Do you see yourself doing the project as a hobby? Hobbies are activities that you enjoy at your spare time. No one pays you for it. In most cases, you spend your money at your hobby. Traveling around Asia, getting that book from Dan Brown, track motor racing. Just answering that question should immediately give you a clear idea if you want to do the project as a startup or not. This should be the first cardinal point of every startup. If you don't believe in the project and its goals, don't bother starting it. You will waste your time and resources. No passion equals mediocre, lack of creativity, and a failure waiting to happen. Period. But on the flip side, if you have a passion for the project, then you're closer to discovering innovational ways to invest your time and resources. Your project should feel like you're having fun and getting paid for it. You are a master of your hobby. You have experience at it. You love your hobby. Start a project similar to your hobby and you're on your way to becoming as rich as Mr. PewDiePie. That now question two. What do you intend to achieve with your project? Set your price. It can be saving humanity by developing your own waste recycling machine or getting your crush to go on a date with you. Your price could be anything as long as it's legal. Vividly visualize your price because most times the path to accomplishing a new project may be a tough one. Visualizing your price is what will get you through those hard times. If you are an athlete, visualize winning the Olympics. Toil at your trade and the money will definitely come. Cardinal Action 1 Look around you and start with what you have now. You know that famous Nike slogan, just do it? Yeah. Just do it. You are starting a YouTube channel. Pick up your phone, make a video. Call it my first shitty, bad quality, long, amateur video. And post it. You will get views no matter what your subject is, as long as it's unique to you. Just take that first step and you'll feel more comfortable and confident and happier to continue. Once you have started, you must do this next step. Cardinal Action 2. Stand up when you fell. This is the path that keeps most people from accomplishing their dreams. The fear of failure! <laughs> if by any stretch of imagination you go viral with your first project, then thank your stars. Someone upstairs is looking out for you. But for the remaining 99% of us, the norm is we make mistakes or even fail at our first project. So, what's the big deal with failing? I don't get it. It's popular. Everyone has one, even though they may choose never to discuss it. Even YouTube failed at its first project. So now look at the company. Most technologies you use today, like the internet, electricity, your phones, were all failed projects at one point in time. The reason they are here with us today is simple. Their inventors got up after they failed and continued. Never give up on your projects. So start your project, make a mess of it, fine tune it and do it again. That is how it works in life. If you want more insight on accomplishments, then grab a book I published back in 2012 with Great Space California, USA, titled Accomplishing the Unaccomplished. I thought of how you can overcome the fear of failure and accomplish. I provide four strategies for winning and fictionalize some real life case studies that I've witnessed. It is an important read and I'll leave a link for you in the description box below. If you can't afford it, grab a copy. You don't know how many beautiful dreams remain unaccomplished due to the fear of failure. The world will be a better place if we can all pursue our dreams and have fun doing it. I covered several topics like causes of failure in startups, misconceptions about failure, perfectionism, and the master rule of accomplishment. Don't forget to stay tuned by subscribing and turning on your notification. 
I will regularly adapt theories from the book and apply them to real life situations and post them here on YouTube. If you want to read the scripts of this video, then head off to my blog www.paparazziideas.com I read every single comment you write, so don't be a stranger. Subscribe to this channel and I promise you, gradually, we will accomplish the unaccomplished. See you at my next video. Adios!